What is going on, bro? Welcome to the video. It is currently 7.08 a.m. Just got through security. That means I had to wake up at like 6.08 a.m. And I don't know about you, but when I have an early flight and I gotta wake up early, I just don't even sleep the night before. Like, I hate early flights. The good news is that we're here. It's a nonstop flight. We're going somewhere dope. And we got somebody back who has been missing from my life for the past, I don't know, man, the past couple weeks. Hey guys, it's been a long time. We were boarded, we were not aware that with uh, the Southwest, you, you have to like choose your own seats. We were the last ones on the plane, back of the bus. <laughs> I'll be right here, sleeping until further notice. I'll be right here, sleeping. Get off the airport here you have to be like really focused keep your head forward because all these people behind me their job is just to like to stop you and sell you like adventure packages or something the first time we got here i got roped in and we were talking to him for like i don't know like 10 minutes so one thing that's kind of inconvenient about going to tulum is that you have to fly into cancun and then it's like an hour an hour and a half drive there so we always like reserve one of these uh, vans ahead of time so we don't have to deal with haggling for a taxi or something. But we're here and we made it. And we are back. We are back in Tulum, Mexico. Stayed here before. This is Mystique. It is an amazing Airbnb. You guys, I mean, look at the pools. There's like, what, four pools, but you gotta check out, check out the room. It's literally right here, like right here. And we have this private balcony really close to the pool, and then it opens up into, David, isn't this where the magic happens? <laughs> oh, so you get to make my cringy joke now, huh? I felt like it was only fitting. But yeah, that's pretty much the entire room. It's, this is a small little studio, but it's perfect. Now there's something I've been just dreaming about doing ever since we stepped foot off the plane and like I can't wait anymore. I gotta go do this right now. Like, like I just can't wait anymore. I have to go do this. Oh yeah, baby. First ever backflip in Mexican water is complete. I hope that looked as good as it felt. All right, Julia, do you wanna fill them in about wh why you had to leave? Yeah, so a couple weeks ago, my mom called me and was like, Julia, your bumpa, who's my grandfather, is not doing well, you need to come home and see him. So I got on that flight that night, it was a Friday night, I got home at 2 a.m. and I was only supposed to stay like a few days because I was just gonna visit with him. So I saw him on Saturday, he was very coherent. He had just gotten out of the hospital because he had pneumonia, but he told me how much he loved me and it was really hard because I didn't know when I would see him again. And then on Sunday night, I found out that he had passed passed away and um, it was really difficult because I'm so close with him and it, it was just really hard and so I ended up staying a week longer to mourn with my family and yeah it's just been it's been really difficult. Bumpa, Bumpa was a baller. I, I met him a few times. <laughs> Me and him, his name was Dave also so we had, we had a little connection but yeah it just sucks. Y'all already know that I got the plug when it comes to renting mopeds in Tulum. I got the connect. Her name's Natalia. She already dropped off this beast for the week. Funny thing is she always tries to sell me real estate. Like I'll leave and then she'll send me a bunch of WhatsApp messages trying to sell me real estate and then I won't answer. And then we come back, I'm like, yeah, but can I still rent a moped? She always comes through. I 
I think that it was exactly, if I had to guess. Like right here. Like right, yep, yeah, right there. That it happened. It's crazy it's been two years. I know. It doesn't feel like it's been two years. We've actually been back to Tulum five times yeah. in the two years since it happened. But look how beautiful that's it. Did I pick a good spot or did I pick a good spot? He picked a good spot. Julia? Oh my god. I fucking love you. Yeah, ever since ever since we've met, we've gone on like a fucking epic adventure together. Will you marry me? Yes. <laughs> oh my goodness. Bro, I was so nervous that day like I was trying to hide my plan I was trying to film a video I was, I was trying to hide the ring yeah uh, I'm just like so obsessed with it it's like the prettiest ring ever and every day I look at it it just makes me so happy and very appropriately today's video is sponsored by jamesallen.com that is where I got the engagement ring and they made this really complicated process of like finding a diamond and putting it in the right setting which I know nothing about they actually signed someone to personally work with me and it gave me a lot of confidence that I was choosing the right thing. It just made the whole process so streamlined. And not only is jamesallen.com the place to get an engagement ring, in my opinion, but they also offer a lot of other diamond jewelry. And with Valentine's Day right around the corner, it is a great place to get a gift for your girlfriend, your wife, or your mom. For example, this is a diamond tennis bracelet. And these are some diamond stud earrings that Julie is wearing. And they're a couple of her favorites. And because jamesallen.com is the sponsor of today's video, you can click that first link in description to take advantage of 25% off. It is automatically going to apply if you click the link. But, but I wouldn't delay because this is only going to be available for a limited time. And of course, the best part of Tulum, the drink and the food. The food is literally on another level. I'm obsessed. It's funny because a lot of the nice restaurants have this like nightclub vibe where I can barely hear you, you can barely hear me, but the food makes it worth it. So this spot is like a trendy Japanese place. We got some spicy tuna rolls over here, a little bit of chicken pad thai. We already devoured some spicy edamame that was like unreal. I think there's a jalapeno on top. The spot's called Funky Geisha, 9.5 out of 10. And I am obsessed with these mezcal drinks. Good morning. Good morning. Somebody was a little cold last night with this blanket. It was freezing, I had a sweatshirt on too. I could not sleep because I was so hot. I gotta, like I'm gonna have to go buy a fan today, I think. And just like that, I just clicked the button to put the edge drop live. I know that it went live a week ago for y'all, but it feels good, man. Like we're on vacation, I clicked the button, I was feeling kind of anxious this morning, but now I feel like we can truly just relax and enjoy the rest of this vacation. Hell yeah. Thank you to everybody who supported on this launch. And thank you to everyone on the team for making it happen. And another delicious meal to get the day started. The fruit in Tulum is just, look at that bro, it's so fresh on another level. And now, now I'm feeling fresh bro. Got my haircut. I was thinking of gym tan laundry. For me, gym tan laundry is like haircut, gains, and then more gains. Food gains. Gym gains and the food gains. So in this bag, we in have- In this sketchy bag that he made me bring to Mexico, in my bag. Well, she actually brought three of these because <laughs> we just received the first set of samples of pre-workout for the upcoming supplement brand we're working on three different flavors. We're gonna be testing one in each of the next three videos. This is actually the flavor that I'm least excited about. I mean, I'm insanely excited about all of them and I'm even more excited about the insane stacked formula we put together. But I'm talking too much, let's try this out. All right. Wow. This might be my favorite. Wow, I hope the workout. color doesn't give this away, but wow. That's good, that's up there, man. It's at least nine out of 10. It's just really easy to drink. 
Like I could drink this like mm. all the time. Put a little tequila. Put a little mezcal in with this. <laughs> You'd be fucked. <laughs> Four loco style. <laughs> I am pumped, bro. Not just because of the pre-workout that's starting to hit, but this is only my second workout back since the sickness. And I'm gonna take a little like diet break. Obviously I've been cutting, but I lost a little bit of unwanted weight while I was sick, which is great because I'm feeling leaner, but I also feel like I might've lost a little bit of that muscle mass. So we're gonna maintain weight while we're here. Get the gains back. Push day to day, baby. Let's go. Workout complete. I don't know about you, but that pre-workout, like, it fucking slaps. Like, I feel like I could, I could hit another workout right now. Yeah, I'm like, not done. Definitely feeling quite lean, but I gotta, gotta eat some more carbs to get, get this pump back. By the way, these are the shorts, the Lift Hybrid shorts that dropped last week. Show them some of the details. This is like a, a tear-free stitching on the inside. One logo there. Got one logo on the back. It's the phone pocket right there. This is like by far the best lifting shorts that I've had in my whole life. No one wants to keep seeing it. Like they've seen one, I think it should be one per video. Bring it out here. How many, okay, how many skids per video do you guys want to see? How many backflips per video do you guys want to see? One. Maybe five, maybe six. Drop a comment, let us know, but this is, I feel accomplished about the backflip, all right? I like showing it. So when I was gone for what, like two weeks, David would mention, he'd be like, oh, I didn't know, you know, the dogs did this or did this. And I'm like, this is stuff I know all the time. It's just like, he had to finally take care of them for once. He's like, oh, I didn't know the dog shared a bowl when they ate food. Yeah, I got nothing, I, yeah. I, I had to learn a lot. I, forgot, I had to reteach myself how to do laundry and vacuum. And yeah, he's like, It ran so out of battery and I didn't even know how to plug it back in. <laughs> he's like, you're so proud I vacuumed. I was like, babe. <laughs> in all seriousness, I don't really like being away from Julia. Obviously, like we work together. Live together, sleep together. Engaged together. together. Gonna get married together. Uh, but I, I, I do think it's important for like everyone to have this time isolated from time to time. And even though I was sick while I was isolated and I was kind of overwhelmed, I still, there's something that's healthy. I feel like having space to just be with your own thoughts and not really hide from them and get really fucking good at playing Halo. <laughs> I know he told me when I got home, he's like, Julia, I had what, 58 kills? 40, I'll get 50 and we get back. Don't worry, I got you, babe. <laughs> I'm really appreciative that he let me go home and be with my family and mourn with them. And it was like hard being away from him, but it makes you realize like how much you love someone when like you have time apart. <laughs> I like how she says that I let her go home. It's like, bitch, get in the closet. I'm gonna lock it up. Give me that plane ticket. I'm gonna get- Super fucked. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed coming along on the trip to Tulum with us. Video one in the books. In the next video, just to give y'all a little teaser, I'm gonna be introducing somebody. Uh, I think y'all are gonna be excited to meet her or him or her or him. Julia, hold this. I will talk to all of y'all in the next video. If you made it to the end, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, click subscribe and turn notifications on and stay beastly.